I will tell you that I have personally never been to China. I've never been to the Canton Fair. I've never been to the Wii U market. So I haven't been to any of those things. I have so far not felt the need to do that in China. Okay. So let me see if I can explain why. Let's suppose that we're going to go buy some clothes. All right. So we're going to go and buy some clothes. And uh, that's what I'm going to tell you. So folks, let's play along. I want to buy some clothes. What information do you need to help me buy my clothes? What information do you need? What sort of questions have you got for me? I want to buy some clothes. What questions have you got for me? All right, Agnes, size, Santo, size, material, what size am I? What color do I want? What sizes have I got? What colors have I got? What size, what style, what price? Good, Brian. What type, men or women's? What style? What are the costs? Where is it made? Do, was it for kids? What about the quantity? What about the quality? All right, so first up, I want to buy some men's clothes for me. All right, so I want to buy uh, an outfit for myself, um, for me. What else do you want to know? Is it in winter or summer? Good. What is the quality like? Good. Is it a soup or is it a suit? Soup. Suit or trachydax. What is the occasion? Well done, Tony and Maria. All right, so it is for a wedding. I'm going to a wedding. I need a new suit to go to a wedding. Uh, my brother-in-law's wedding, which is coming up in August. I need a new suit for that. What do you need to know now? Business or casual? What brand is it? Now, another way of thinking about brand is, uh, is what, Leandro? It's a formal, yes, formal. Formal wedding. So I've got to, I've got to kind of wear the, the suit and tie. What cost? So cost and brand. So now we're thinking, do I want to buy my suit from Lowe's? Do I want to buy my suit from, uh, I don't know, uh, Oxford or from Hugo Boss or from Xenia? Or do I want to get my suit handmade for me? So what's the, what sort of cost am I looking at? Yeah. So what's that going to be important? All right. So I've decided I want to buy my suit from uh, Xenia. I'm going to get a Xenia suit. I'm going to try not to spill my water all over my desk. Hopefully that's not completely ruined. So I got excited at the thought of buying a new Xenia suit. Uh, that. So now, now that I've given you some information, we're going to buy a suit for a bloke, for a wedding, for formal, and I want to buy it from Xenia. Where do I go shopping for that? Where do I go shopping for that? <coughs> good. How much time do you add? That's a very good question, Ashley. Didn't think of that. That's very, very good. Where am I going to go shopping for my Xenia suit? Where do I go shopping for that? Is Xenia likely to be, if you don't know what Xenia is, it's an Italian brand. Uh, it's the same suits that Paul Keating used to wear. You remember when we used to take the piss out of Paul Keating for his like $5,000 Italian suits? He was wearing Xenia suits. So you've got to go to Xenia's store. All right. So do I want to go to Westfields and spend all day trudging around Westfield Mall looking at loads and loads of different clothes shops given it, given that I, I know I want a Xenia suit and given that um, um, that's what I want and I know where I've just got to go into the shop and go and buy it. So do I want to go to Westfields to go trudging around everywhere or do I want to go straight to Xenia to buy my suit? Yeah, I'm with you, Tim. Yeah, I want to go straight there. Okay, well done. So now for me, for me, it is exactly the same with Canton Fair. Canton Fair is freaking massive. At, like, you can't believe how big it is. 
there are over 20,000 different stores, factories, whatever you call them, stands at Canton Fair. And you, you could go there for five days and still not get around to everything, okay? You still not get around to everything. So I think, for me, it is much smarter to have the knowledge of what I'm trying to buy and then go directly to the store to buy it rather than wandering around uh, Westfields looking for inspiration. I'd much rather know what I want to sell and go buy that. Now, that's just me. Some people, they want to wander around and discover new things. Now, if that's you, I'm 100% I'm behind that, but you can do that without going to China. So all you would do, so for instance, I do that all the time. I'm a very, very prolific seller in the wellness industry. And so um, I go to the States all the time and I go to supply side. So for instance, I'm gonna to go to supply side west. Supply side west, for instance, which is usually in Vegas or somewhere like that. Uh, so this is in Vegas, and this is a big, solely for, specifically for, new ingredients for lotions, potions, topicals, ingestors, things like that. So when I'm looking for inspiration, then I go to the exact stat, the exact place I'm going to find the inspiration for the products I'm looking to buy. I think that's a much smarter thing to do. And... I also think it makes a lot of sense to go to trade fairs in the market that you're going to sell in as well. I don't think you need to go to China. I think you can go to Australia and go to the trade fairs in Australia and do just as well as going to the Canton Fair, for instance. That is just me. I know some people will wholeheartedly disagree with that. Uh, but based on what my own criteria, my own strategy is, I'm not one of those guys that enjoys walking around Westfields all day shopping. I much prefer to know what I want to buy, go to the shop, and I go buy it. Now, if I'm looking for inspiration about things I'm looking for, then I go to a specific uh, trade show all about that specific thing, things like Supply Side West, for instance. That's my strategy. That works really, really well for me. I hope that helps, Michael. So not really a great deal of answering of your question. I do apologize for that because I've never been, so I can't give you the kind of tips about it. But the biggest tip I can give you is to already know what you're looking for and then source that, source people who can supply that. Um, that's my big tip for that sort of thing. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.